sorry guys that's going to be my new look or a look which is not so maintained at all because i've not been going for ldp rides for almost uh, five or six days now doing quite a lot of maintenance work cleaning this room <clears throat> cleaning this room as well so uh, that's my look unshaven untidy yeah anyways coming to the point hi uh, this is krishna trinivasan a fine art photographer a distance skater and a small time freelance skater by the way i've not gone for uh, my freelance skate practice in the last two weeks I have to do it i'm so tired <clears throat> over here and a little bit on the physicality so uh, got to get out of this first to uh, get back on track so anyways so and uh, we are going to do some unboxing today it's an uh, shotgun mic for the very first time and i bought this mic for my mobile phone okay and it's going to be a studio setup and uh, it's not for uh, intentionally bought for uh, using it with my dslr or uh, any other cameras that i have i have a dj osmo or gopro and uh, i have a x pro 2 i don't record my uh, videos with a camera where i use it for photography so i don't do both of them i don't combine them it's going to be dedicated for photography so it's not for so those cameras not to be meant for using it in a mobile environment where i am moving it's intentional for the studio setup as you can see like this tiredness is from maintaining this room i've been cleaning it a lot okay that thing is there i have to clean it that's my desk by the way a little bit of view and that's the my condenser microphone covered to protect from the dust okay so this audio is going to be on my mobile phone for a while and uh, once we unbox that mic and connect to it we'll test the audio okay so yep let's go into the overhead view and do the unboxing peace Okay this is the overhead view actually i have uh, kind of ordered uh, a convenient setup where i could put my mobile whenever needed to this point of view you know you know it has some uh, goose neck kind of stand okay so for now this is the one i have mounted my mobile camera mobile phone actually on a selfie stick and inserted that selfie stick into the shelf which you might have seen it from my previous videos okay so this is an mobile audio from uh, Xiaomi Poco F1 okay got my scissors let's go do the unpacking by the way the package just arrived like less than 5 minutes or so i was prepping this setup was testing it and i heard the calling bell so there you go got the mic so why i am going for this overhead setup with mobile phone is because like mobile phone can be macro as well as uh, you know could be a wide angle kind of camera hope you guys can see the price or something out i'm not sure like if i'm going to twist the video turn the video hope you guys can see it Yeah, that's the price. Nineteen eighty. Okay, let's get rid of this package. Okay, so this is the box itself. Forgive the lighting. Probably I might have to order one if need me. Could put it somewhere under the shelf. So this is how it looks. The box came pretty good in shape, actually. unlike the previous ones this one was perfect and intact nice that's the boya mic hope you guys can see the te uh, text over here b y m m 
so there is another version which means like b y m m one plus okay i'll tell you the difference of both in a short while it is compatible with mobile phone your tablets laptop your cameras and camcorder okay that's how it looks hope it has the stand as well that's your trs or trrs cable that's your shotgun mic okay i think it might have a windscreen as well so that's the sides okay it has the same text on both sides and that's the box itself this is what is there in the box compatible with smartphones tablets and dslrs consumer camcorders audio recorders etc compact and lightweight directional mic rugged metal construction no battery required professional fury windshield included so windshield is included polar pattern cardioid frequency response 35 to 18 kilohertz my plus or minus 3 decibels that's its dynamic range sensitivity minus 42 decibels plus or minus 1 decibel quite sensitive i guess <laughs> signal to noise ratio 76 decibels plug 3.5 mm trs and trrs connectors there are two connectors included in this box dimension diameter 22 by 81 mm okay and net weight is 86 grams yep looks like it is 86 grams there is no tapes here I just have to open it straight away trust me i was not in the mood of making a video today because i'm going to make one more video after this i was all in the mood for resting <laughs> that's what this two weeks was all about you know maintenance and resting so that's the box itself it's empty okay in the bottom of your sides you have the package that's there resting the mic is inside the windshield you have the other things let's go check what is there we have boya stickers that's really nice i like stickers we have some warranty information and card since you bought it from uh, amazon you won't be able to get the signatures of the seller on the seal this is boya manual cards okay, in english Oh yeah, nice. It's in English. Okay, and there you go. That's the frequency response chart, and that's your polar pattern, cardioid polar pattern. Okay, you have the other troubleshooting and stuff, and then you have some text in Chinese or something, some uh, East Asian uh, language. Okay. and this is all english first few pages is all english i'm going to take a look at that later for now let's go check this you might actually find the unboxing in the amazon page itself in a hundred three minutes or so and this is mine so i want to make sure like the product is functioning as well as i thought i could make a video about it and uh, put it on the youtube you know it will be useful for people who are watching my vlogs you know okay let's first take a look at the mic itself so that's the windshield <laughs> looks like small uh, macaque or a monkey's head so you got to pull this out oh, there's a bit of elastic there and a rubber shield here bit of rubber shield nice that's the mic itself got some hard strings in my hand anyways that's the mic itself yep could feel the weight nice that's boya mm1 you see that that's the boya mm1 that's the entire mic okay so mm1 is this you have only one port here and that is the port where you put your trs cable for recording or trrs cable for recording through your DSLR cameras or through your mobile phone okay 
so m m1 plus okay boya m m1 plus okay that will have two 3.5 mm jacks in the rear one for audio monitoring and one for the mic cable where you recorded through okay so audio monitoring is something which i have never done in my life through my entire vlogs have done you know so far like probably 200 300 videos that have done, that have done so far have never done any audio monitoring at all if the audio was bad it was bad if the audio was good it's, it is good actually that's how it has been all the time because i am the presenter myself and uh, i make the video and i am the all in all beauty king in this so <laughs> uh jack of all trades so i couldn't do the audio monitoring while i'm performing so anyways and the reason for buying this uh, mm1 instead of audio monitoring thing is because like uh, with 3.5 mm jack and you know, it's going to get in my way if i'm recording or doing performing uh while recording you know like it's going to get in my way you know even while doing this unboxing you know can't make uh suppose i'm going to make a future video with this you know i can't monitor this all the cables will be getting in my way while i'm doing unboxing cutting all that stuff or doing something with my skateboard you know it's going to still get in the way okay so yeah if i need some higher angle i'll remove my self stick as self stick for now and put it in the next shelf of my whatever that was there <laughs> i a rack you know increase it by one rack i'll have a wide angle yeah anyways so that's boya mm1 and mm1 plus difference this is just for recording okay let me keep it there hope it stays there it doesn't fall so we have the cable oh, one more guitar pick style information i do not understand i don't understand what it is so we have good we have a quarter inch thread over there a locking mechanism a plastic ring and we have the mic stand itself okay so to prevent the mic from falling let me insert that into a the mic thing so that it stays put okay so that's how it inserts into this and if you want you can put the windshield on and record yourself since i am inside and uh, inside my home inside my room and since i am not going to be turning on my ceiling fan or air conditioning i don't use air conditioning air conditioning even in the sweating summer i could literally feel the heat here inside my room i'm all wet right now so sweating so uh, i won't probably uh, be using this uh, windshield but that's a good use you know anyways that's how it looks with the stand and here is the cable okay for the brief moment you know like i kind of forgot uh what trrs and trs means the expansion for the abbreviations okay so when you have three rings i guess that is trrs that's for the smartphones it's written over here hope you guys can see or read it okay that's for smartphones okay so this l angle uh, kind of thing goes into the mic like this and the other end goes to the mobile phone okay and this is for the dslrs so same l angle sort of thing goes into the mic and the other end goes into your dslr okay so i'm not sure like which one would go in for uh, dji osmo or gopro you know mm, do we need trrs or trs that part i don't remember because like i've been using um, internal mic of gopro ever since i bought one and uh, when i was using with dj osmo you know i had a lapel mic lab mic and that lab mic was so good in picking up my voice even from 4 to 5 feet distance you know i don't i did not have a necessity to wear it on my t-shirt or any shirt that i'm wearing the coat or anyways i would just you know plug in the lapel mic into dj osmo and uh, 
try to hang it facing myself facing towards me and that's it i've been using it that way so i do not know i don't remember the specification for now so that's what it is there we have some silica gel to absorb the moisture good they have given a cover fake leather cover it has some branding boy of branding it'll be nice if they have the same grills in the front you know but it's very tiny and highly filtered that's also for good reasons it's it's meant for portable use but i'm going to use it inside my studio right where you're seeing like it's this mic is bought for this table wherein i do a lot of assemblies disassemblies maintenance work for my skateboards you know i do a lot of unboxing for photography you know all those stuff it's meant for that so that's why i bought this and that's all is there in the box okay hope you guys got a good look of it and uh, once i mount this mic onto my camera and uh, we'll take a look at how it works okay and um, we'll see the audio in two different forms one directly as i recorded from boya uh, mm1 mic and then using the post process of refining the audio or enhancing the audio with final cut pro okay so we will see or hear the voices from me in two different forms okay direct voice and an edited voice okay so let's see like how the peaks and how the audio is responding for that okay hmm? hope you guys saw the unboxing and you liked it let's go for the testing peace mic test 1 2 3 1 2 3 the uh, mic is very close to my mouth right now i'm not wearing any uh, you know i mean uh, putting any windshield to it you could see it there okay so it's resting on the table and this open camera is very much recording the video here hope you guys can hear me i'm literally like mm, just you know almost 10 or 12 cm of uh, distance from the mic you know it's very up close to my uh you know head you know like you saw in the uh, intro video like i was up close to the camera you know that close i am okay so it's resting there on the selfie stick it's not mounted in any form i'm just have placed it so loose so i should make sure like i'm not touching the shelf anywhere so that i don't make any noise or move the microphone and make it fall you know let it rest so this is how the audio sounds just with the boya microphone okay and uh, let that continue recording and meanwhile let me tell like from this point you know after this video hmm, i'll clap from after that point it's going to be the enhanced audio from final cut pro so that you could see the difference of both the audio you know because i'm not going to play it like you know a little bit of original audio then enhanced audio original audio and enhanced audio because like you have the control over the interface to watch this video so you can always play your i uh, move your playhead to the previous audio and to the enhanced audio so okay let's go so from this point you know you're going to hear the enhanced audio from final cut pro so this is kicha and uh, i'm recording it with boya mm1 a uh, shotgun microphone which has a cardioid pattern of recording and it's very small and portable it can be uh, used with dslr and mobile phones you know using trs and trrs uh, cables right now i'm recording it with open camera app on my mobile phone camera which is xiaomi poco f1 okay this is the enhanced part of the audio hope you guys liked it okay this is kicha signing out peace bye bye that's the end of the review i just want to show you guys like how i actually set up my mobile phone here That's how the boy was resting, and this is the selfie stick going all the way inside the shelf. And if I need some wide angle, I could move the selfie stick to the next level. Okay, 
this is the uh, part of external video while the end card titles run well, i don't have any end card titles but i just want to show you this setup so this temporary setup but uh, the new stand and everything is coming on the way probably i should receive it by thursday or wednesday so that's where i was doing the unboxing and that's for that setup for this table dedicated for this table and this test for the audio of my video which i'm recording through open camera is like uh when i chose a uh, external mic if present i just want to know like what open camera does when there is no external mic connected to the mobile phone probably should take the intel mics audio that's what i am uh, testing it right now let's see when the video ends and play it back <laughs> if it has the audio or no audio to it okay i'll know when i uh, stop this video and play them back otherwise i might have to record it again choosing camcorder option okay so that's how it was resting that's how the entire video was made all the time and the first intro was made when i rested my mobile phone on this uh, rail for the uh, windows glasses to slide okay yeah that's the label maker <laughs> okay anyways peace forgive me guys so that's me after recording this video <laughs> for boya mm1 anyways the uh, intel mic uh, was uh, active uh i mean it has been used by the open camera app when i was uh recording it uh you know like choosing external mic if present as an audio source you know that option you know it records through the internal mic okay i do not know this is another test wherein i have the uh, boya uh, mic in hand okay i'm going to hold the microphone and i just inserted the boya mic into the uh, mobile phone camera i'm not sure if uh, open camera app is kind of active and it's going to take while it is recording and you know, update the audio source while it is recording either it's boya mic or intel mic so if i see any clipping or difference in the audio when i was recording this video i'll know okay this is also a small test okay peace